this evening. Well, we do know everyone has so many questions concerning the coronavirus, and our Dr. Frank McGeorge has been working to find those answers for you. So we send it over to Doc as we continue to use the social distancing. I know you're across there in the studio. Let's talk about how long it takes to recover from this virus. Yeah, Karen, I guess it's the new normal. So I want to quickly point out that compared to other countries, we're really just at the beginning. And as more people are diagnosed and recover, we're going to have better data. But here's what we know so far. The best information we have on the speed of recovery comes from a World Health Organization study looking at over 55,000 cases in China. They found, on average, with mild illness, the time from the onset of symptoms to recovery was two weeks. Now, that time frame was also supported in a published report on the clinical course of the first U.S. case of coronavirus. That man recovered in just over two weeks. Now, the information from the Chinese data also shows that for more severely ill and critical patients, recovery took as long as three to six weeks. So when are you considered recovered? Well, in the United States, in order to be considered completely recovered, one of two conditions needs to be met. Either you have to have two negative swab tests separated by at least 24 hours, or based on a CDC update yesterday, at least 72 hours has passed after both respiratory symptoms and fever have resolved. They also want at least seven days to have passed since the onset of symptoms. That means using those guidelines, the quickest recovery would be a minimum of 10 days. Now, part of the reason that there are two definitions of recovery, one based on symptoms and the other based on testing, is that we really need to prioritize testing for diagnosis and not recovery testing. All right, we appreciate it. Thanks for the perspective, Doc, and all of the answers. We'll see you again tonight at 5.